Good morning team, Justin here. Hope you're having a really good day today. This video, we're gonna go over the different types of credit card points that you can earn with different credit cards. There are a few different types of points and they can be confusing if you're just getting involved or just getting started with credit cards and credit card reward points. We're gonna go over the issuers, what kind of points they earn and what you can do with the different kinds of points. If you're new to the channel, I'm Justin and I like to talk about credit cards and reward points to get the most out of life. If you like credit cards and you like reward points, you should give this video a thumbs up and you should subscribe to the channel. Then if you really want to support the channel, you can check out some credit card links down below. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. When applying for a card that offers reward points, you're probably going to go with a card from one of the four big issuers. And the first one is American Express. American Express has cards like the Amex Platinum, the Gold Card, the Green Card, Blue Cash Preferred, the Amex Everyday Card, and then a few co-branded cards. They have co-branded cards with Delta, Hilton, and Marriott. Then you have Chase, which has cards like Chase Sapphire Preferred, Chase Freedom Flex, Chase Freedom Unlimited, and they have a lot of different co-branded credit cards. They co-branded with United, Southwest, uh, British Airways, Aer Lingus, Iberia, and Hyatt, and IHG. Then they also have some niche cards like a, a, a co-branded card with Instacart, Starbucks, and Amazon Prime. Third is City. They have cards like the City Premier, City Double Cash, City Custom Cash, and then they co-branded with American Airlines and Costco. And then you have Capital One with cards like the Venture and the Venture X. And then their other cards are more aimed at like students or secured cards and uh, people building up their credit. After the four issuers, there are basically four types of points that you can earn with credit cards. And the first one is cash back. Cash back is what your average person thinks of when applying for a credit card. Essentially, you put spending on the card and you're going to get some sort of return. The City Double Cash is a very popular cash back card and that offers 2% back on everything. And that's why it's so popular. It's going to be hard to find a card that offers more than 2% back on everything. Some cards will offer more than 2%, but that'll be on special categories. And there, be, there may be a spending limit to that. Like the Blue Cash Preferred card by American Express will give you 6% back at supermarkets, but that's up to $6,000 in spend for a year. Then the Chase Freedom Unlimited, that's going to offer you 1.5% on everything, but then some special categories like dining and drugstores, it'll give you 3% back. So there's going to be a little give and take with how much you could earn with cash back cards. Now the bare minimum you should be making in cash back is 1%. If you're earning less than 1% on all your spending, that just means you're not putting that spending on a card because it's pretty easy to earn 1% on all your spending with most cards. Next type of point we're going to talk about are hotel points. Chains like Marriott and Hilton, they have loyalty programs where you can earn points when staying at the respective properties. But good news is they've teamed up with the credit card issuers like American Express and Chase to issue co-branded credit cards. Hilton has teamed up with American Express and has four different co-branded cards and Marriott They've teamed, teamed up with both Chase and American Express to issue co-branded cards. And with these cards, you're going to earn things like status with the respective hotel chains. And this is going to get you things like free breakfast, status, eligible for room upgrades. You may also earn free nights just by having these cards. These co-branded hotel cards are going to earn hotel points on their spending and you can redeem these points for free nights at the respective hotels. Now you can earn a lot more points when staying at hotels and paying for your stay with these cards. The Hilton card is going to give you up to 14 points per dollar spent when staying at Hilton properties. Marriott's going to give you up to 6 points when staying at Marriott properties. Hyatt will give you 5 points and IHG will give you up to 10 points. Now it's not as simple because each 
point has a different value and it's not about just getting as many points as possible because these points are valued a little differently. Where we would earn the most Hilton points, Hilton points are generally valued at like 0.6 cents per point while Marriott is 0.8 cents, Hyatt 1.7 cents and then IHG 0.5 cents. But even then the value of hotel points are set in stone and you may be able to get more value in points at one place than you would another. Like hotels in London are going to be priced completely different than hotels in Iowa or somewhere. When a blog like the points guy value hotel points it's going to be in a bit of a range and there's going to be some leeway. You may get more or less value from your hotel points depending on where you stay. Third type of points are airline points. Just the way hotels teamed up with credit cards, airlines have teamed up with the credit cards too. And your spending is going to earn you airline miles that you can use to redeem for free flights. Just for having these cards, you're going to have some things like status as well. Uh, access to lounges, um, free check bags, and priority boarding, and the ability to get... Uh, upgraded to first class or business class more easily and all your spending is going to earn airline miles instead of anything else. Now the value of these miles can vary a lot because it's very personal and depending on where you live, where you fly, how often you fly and what's more important for you um, can really change the value of these different kinds of programs. If you don't live by a United hub Having a United card isn't going to do you any good. The real magic from airline miles is the ability to fly business class and first class. Business class tickets can cost up to 10 times the price as an economy class ticket. And airline miles give the average person the ability to fly business and first class. With first class tickets costing up to seven or eight thousand dollars or more, these points are a way that can allow you to like really have a once in a lifetime experience flying first class. Now the fourth type of currency is called a transferable currency and these are issued by the big banks. So we have American Express, they issue membership award points. City issues thank you points, Chase issues ultimate award points and Capital One issues Capital One miles. Now these have optionality. You can choose what to do with these. You can use these as cash back. You can transfer them to hotels and you can transfer them to airline partners. Now what makes these some of the most valuable points. As far as cash back goes, American Express, you can redeem your points as a statement credit for 0.6 cents a piece. And that's probably not a good idea. You could get much more value trans transferring these points out to someone else. Capital One, same thing. You could do a statement credit with Capital One for 0.5 cents. But with Capital One, you have the option of a statement credit to erase travel charges at one cent per point. City and Chase both have statement credits at one cent per point. American Express, City, and Capital One allow you to redeem through their respective travel portals at one cent per point, while Chase, they allow uh, 1.25 cents if you use the Chase Sapphire Preferred. And then if you have the Chase Sapphire Reserve, you can redeem your points for 1.5 cents through the portal. But to get the most value out of these points is to transfer them out to the transfer partner. And I'll put a big list right here that you can look at. The points guy values American Express membership award points at about two cents per piece, Chase Ultimate Awards at two cents per piece, and then City and Capital One points at 1.8 cents. And they get this valuation because you can transfer these out to redeem for more expensive, higher value tickets like business and first class. Transferring to some other airlines outside the United States, you might be able to get five or 10 cents per point in value out of these points. You can also earn these points faster by using different cards that complement each other. You're gonna have the American Express Platinum card that's gonna earn 5X on flights, 
but then you have the gold card that earns 4x on dining restaurants and supermarkets so these cards are going to complement each other to rack up more points on the chase side you'll have the chase sapphire preferred chase freedom unlimited and the chase freedom flex then on city you have the city premier which is the travel credit card then you have the city double cash and the city custom cash and they actually just revamped their program where the city double cash and the custom cash were actually just cash back cards but now they technically earn thank you points that can be redeemed for travel and transferred out to the transfer partners with the help of sign up bonuses getting these transferable currencies with multiple cards that complement each other is going to give uh, most people the best chance at flying business and first class usually those kind of flights are just not accessible for most people when it comes to sending your transferable currencies to their hotel partners that's generally advised against because those points are just not as valuable as your transferable currencies like membership reward points or ultimate rewards but there can be exceptions if you want to book one of the overwater villas in Bora Bora or the Maldives or something like that you might be able to get that kind of value and maybe worth it for you to transfer transferable currencies to hotels that way so those are the four kind of points you can earn with credit cards cash back airline miles hotel points or transferable currencies transferable currencies are usually valued the most because you have the choice of doing the other three and then you could also do it send the points to airlines to redeem for business and first class tickets to get higher end redemptions so if you're still watching or got any value out of this video really appreciate thumbs up really appreciate you subscribe to the channel if you haven't then i want you to go have a good day all right justin out